Graduating from Marine Enlisted Air Crew Training was no easy task. I went through a year of rigorous mental and physical training, including rescue swimming, aircraft mechanic, and finally flight school. My family watched as I marched out with my class in my service C uniform and had my wings pinned on. It was a moment of pride and accomplishment. I was officially a CH-46 Echo helicopter crew chief. This is only the beginning of my journey. When I joined my new unit, I learned that we would deploy to Iraq in five months. We immediately began more training. I learned the mechanics of the 50 caliber machine gun and was qualified as a door gunner. After arriving in Iraq in September of 2005, I didn't know exactly what to expect. I wanted to be a good crew chief and I wanted to make sure that my crew could rely on me to make good decisions. At 19 years old, this was a heavy burden. We began flying operational missions days after arriving. We flew casualty evacuations, transports, resupplies, and raids. I learned the mechanics of each mission type until I was comfortable leading each one. After two short months in Iraq, I had earned enough combat hours to wear the insignia of Marine Enlisted Combat Aircrew Wings. The ceremony to receive this device was a lot different than my original aircrew graduation. My family was not there, and instead, my unit stood in a formation. I stood tall in my desert camis, the most formal uniform that we had in Iraq. My camis felt crisp and new compared to my flight suit, which was well worn in by that time. As I stood in front of my commander, he pinned my silver combat wings on my uniform and I was reminded of that feeling that I had at graduation. And I realized I was not the same person that I was just a few months earlier. This time I felt the burden of my role and my responsibility to my crew. I'm proud of my experience and I feel humbled and honored to be one of the few and the very proud women of Marine Enlisted Air Crew to wear the combat insignia.